Hello everyone, welcome to TechTood. In this question, we have been given a relational schema student having attribute name, sex and marks. Now, we have been given a relational algebraic expression, this one, and we have been given following options. So, we have to find out which one is the correct correct output of the this expression, this rel relational algebraic expression. Fine. So, how do we start? So let's start by taking some example. So here we have relational schema student. So this is student table. Fine. Now if you see here there is a join between student schema and another schema which we will discuss on the basis of these conditions. Okay. So what is this? This is you know this is rename operator right. This is rename rename so what what it is doing is basically on the same student schema it is renaming the attributes okay so this name will be renamed as n this n this sex will be renamed as x and marks will be renamed as m okay so this is again another table i'll call it student 1 fine now let's take some example I mean let's fill up this table to understand it properly so here I have filled up this table with some example records now as this this table student 1 is exactly the clone of student so all the values will be as it is right now we have first we have to perform join over these conditions okay so what will be what we will be doing let's say first one it will basically do cross product and will filter on the basis of these conditions so with the first tuple we'll take all the tuples of this table right and we will see what are the conditions here and what are the tuples in the final output we can filter out so when we consider this first tuple and all the tuples of student 1 we will get this as our first set of output again we will have to consider this next tuple and then again all the tuples of student 1 so similarly we will go forward but for our purpose we will start with this now we have conditions sex should be equal to male a female right so this is sex this is equal to female this should be equal to female fine so this is okay for this tuple this is correct okay and this is basically repeating right so for all the following tuples it is correct now the next condition is x should be equal to male so we will filter out all those tuples which is where x not equal to male so this is out this is out this is out right now marks should be less than m okay so this marks should be less than or equal to m fine so here for this tuple in this case in this case marks will be 8 and this is 6 okay so this is not true so we will eliminate this tuple similarly for this tuple also marks is 7 so this tuple also will be eliminated okay so now we will have output will be we have a as output as we are filtering a here fine so now you can see up to this up to this what we are getting is the name of I mean female students name of female students okay whose marks is less than some male students right so up to here it is name of female student whose marks is less than some male student right now this is what this set this set is basically this is filtering out female students right okay so when you subtract this first set okay I mean the second set out of this first what will be remaining we will get 
as it is this this part is so this part is female students name of female students having less marks than some male student so when we subtract subtract it from the name of all the female students the remaining will be female students whose marks is greater than all the boys students all the male students right so for us this is name of girls with more marks than all the boys okay so this is the correct option